Hello guys, today we're gonna make the gear of the exercise gear box. So you can download this file in the description and open your fusion and let's go. First let's hide the housing here cover and shaft. Okay, now select the front plane. Go to create select the front plane. Capture position here. Okay, select the line, click in the midpoint, make a construction line here with 20.65 millimeters. Okay, select the line again, make a line here. Go to sketch dimension, the distance between this line and the construction line is 0 0.4 millimeters. Okay. Constraints. Okay. Now let's let's make this. Click this point, make a line here with 14 millimeters. Another line here with 4.8 millimeters. And another line here. The distance between this line and the construction line here is 21.8 millimeters. Okay. Now select the line again. Make a line here. Two lines go to sketch dimension. The angle between this line. Oh, sorry. Make a construction line here. Okay. Go to sketch dimension, click on this line and this line. The angle between these two lines is 141.2 degrees. Okay. Select the line again. Make a line here and make a line here. Go to constraints, select horizontal vertical, click on this line here. Okay. The go to sketch dimension. This line has 30 point five millimeters. And Go to scale constraint, select coincident, click on this point in this line. That's okay. The distance between this point and the construction line here. Oh, sorry. The distance between this point and this point is 28.83. Yep. The angle between these two lines is click in this constraint, remove this constraint. Okay, it's not at 90 degrees here. Here is 45 degrees. It is the angle between these two lines. The distance between this point and this line is 80.82 millimeters. Okay. Here we made all the dimensions. I put all dimensions here. Now finish the sketch. Go to revolve the profile is the sketch and the axis is the construction line here. We will have this, okay? Press OK. Now go to construction, select the plane tangent, plane tangent to face at point. Okay. Now we need to select a, a face in the point. Click here, select this face, and select this point here. We have a plane like this. Okay. Press OK. Now go to construction again, offset plane, click 
click on this plane the distance here is minus 36.77 press ok I have these two planes go to create a sketch and select this plane let's hide the the plane here select a line construction line make a line here take this line and make this line tangent with this edge here okay tangent okay and this line must be horizontal okay now select circle make a circle here is not a construction okay it's a real circle here with 0 0.025 millimeters press ok now go to sketch mention the distance between the circle and the construction line here is 5.941 millimeter ok finish the sketch I made a circle here just make sure to the circle is let's activate this again go to circle go to constraint select horizontal vertical select the circle and select the midpoint okay finish the sketch now let's show all the planes here go to create a sketch and select this plane <sighs> select line construction line make a line here with 12.896 millimeters okay make another line here okay go to midpoint click on this point in this line okay now go to constraint again select tangent select this line and this edge here of the body okay now go to create select arc three point arc Click on this point, in this point, make an arc here. Remove the construction type, here, okay? The dimension here is 30.6 millimeter of radius, okay? Now, go to three point arc again. Click on this point. No, sorry. Sorry. Go to center diameter circle, construction, click in this point here and make a circle here with 42.494 millimeters of diameter. Press OK. Now go to create, select arc, three point arc, click in this point and this point make an arc here okay go to sketch dimension the distance between this point and the construction line here is 2.4 millimeters press okay and this radius is 10 millimeters 10.4 okay now here we have to make uh, another three point arc. Click on this point and this point. Make an arc here. And go to modify, select fillet. Make a fillet here with 0 0.75 millimeters. Okay. We have this. Now go to create, select mirror. The object is this radius, the affinity, and this arc here. The mirror line is the construction line here. 
press OK. We have this. Finish the sketch. Now go to create, select lofts, select this profile, and select this circle here. We'll make a cut. So just select the two profiles and press OK. We have this. Okay. Now go to create select pattern, circular pattern. The object type is the features, and the object is the loft. The axis is the red axis here, and the quantity is 30. Press OK. OK, guys. We have this. Now, show the shaft. Let's move the, the shaft here. OK. Just uh, go to joint, select, click here, and click in this point. We have this, okay. Let's move a little bit here. When this add, this add here to touch the face. So like this. 0.5 no, 0.3 that's okay press okay now go to combine select this body the tool body is the component the operation is cut and select keep tools press okay Let's hide the shaft. You see that the gear has this. That's okay. Now, go to body pipe. Make this a component. Create component from this body. We have here a gear. Let's show the shaft. Now go to join. Select this this face of the this edge here of the gear. And select this edge here. And the motion here is revolute. Press OK. We have this. Let's see the joints. See here. That's okay. Let's show the housing here. Let's make some to change the material. To see if it, it, it is working well. Okay. Here we finish the this video, and see you in the next video to finish the gearbox. Okay. Thanks for watching, and bye bye.